It's important to understand the basic theory of circuit tracer operation. The transmitter generates a pulsed electromagnetic field onto the circuit. The receiver detects the relative strength of this field when placed in the proper orientation to the wires being traced or breakers being identified. As the signal becomes stronger, the receiver's numeric value and variable pitch and tone increase. In general, tracing should start at the maximum setting. If the signal saturates the receiver to display 99 continuously, then reduce the sensitivity mode. There are two concepts you need to understand to maximize the signal in the circuit and ease the task of tracing. The first concept is the effect that an open versus a closed circuit has on the signal. Whether a circuit is open or closed greatly affects the strength of the electromagnetic field. In an open circuit there is no current flow, so the strength of the magnetic field produced is much weaker. But in an energized closed circuit, current flows to produce a much stronger electromagnetic field. This allows the receiver to detect the signal from a much greater distance from the circuit being traced. So when possible, set up a closed circuit for tracing. A second concept is utilizing a remote return path. When current flows, it creates an electromagnetic field counterclockwise to the direction of the current flow. As current flows out on a hot conductor and returns in the opposite direction on a neutral conductor, it creates opposing magnetic fields. So if these two wires are close together, the magnetic fields tend to cancel each other out, which diminishes the receiver's ability to detect the signal. To avoid this canceling effect, one lead of the transmitter should be connected to the conductor to be traced, while the second lead should be connected to a remote return path in order to prevent this signal canceling effect. The simplest method is to use the 25-foot test lead to connect to a neutral or ground from another circuit, or connect to a ground source such as a water pipe or ground rod. Sure test receivers offer you four modes of sensitivity. In general, you should always start at the maximum setting until the receiver finds the circuit under test. Reduce the sensitivity mode if the meter pegs at 99 continuously. The indication of the received signal depends on how the receiver is pointed in relation to the source of the signal. Therefore, rotate the receiver over the wire being traced until the highest reading is displayed. Use the back of the receiver to sweep the wall to find the circuit's general location. Then use the nose of the unit to pinpoint the exact location.